nothing like a little adrenaline rush from the ATV in the morning. How's it going folks? Welcome back to the episode. Today we got some important news. We've got fire new flare merch. A lot of you guys have been counting flare, where's your merch? Your merch is gone, it's not on the Google site anymore. We went away with all the personal merch, but I've got a limited, very, very limited drop coming out on November 2nd. It'll be linked down below if you guys want to go check out the website. November 2nd is going to be the day. You can get this hoodie, this hat, and a whole bunch of other designs. We'll pop a bunch of them up here. November 2nd, very limited. Once they're sold out, they are gone for freaking good. So click the link down below if you guys want to go check them out. November 2nd, put it in your calendar, and let's get this video started. What are your thoughts on it? You haven't written it yet. I haven't yet. She's a beefcake. Yeah, we might have to break it in today. Yeah, you gotta you gotta join the wheelie club. Me and Bonzo killed the wheelie club earlier. What do you think about the ATV? Uh, you you think know. you can pop a wheelie on it or what? I don't know. Can Bonzo? Bonzo can a little bit. A little bit. I, don't know. I think I can then. I feel like you got this. I don't know. I'm scared though. You're a little nervous. You ever, yeah. you ever ridden an ATV? You ever popped a wheelie on an ATV? No. Have you? No. I feel like it's bound to get a concussion here. We have a helmet. Okay. Don't worry. We got you, bro. We got you. I'm here for you. Morning, goats. How's it going? I already fed these guys this morning. Got up early. Got it done, dude. But just come down here, check on them, make sure they're not dead. You guys still, you guys still killing it? Hey, you guys haven't seen the table. We fixed the table. We yeah. put some plywood on it. We got some ramps on it. They're loving life right now. How's it going? I don't have any food for you. I already fed you this morning. Huh? I already fed you this morning. How about you? Huh? What are you doing, little guy? Yeah, you still have food in that one. You guys are good. We got we got plenty of food for them. They're, they're loving it, dude. They love this thing. We need to put this back up. They like it when I put it up here. They use it as a ramp. Get up on there. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. What up, G? Oh, you trying to square up or what? You trying to square up? Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Put them up. Put them up. Come on. Come on. You don't want to fight? Do you want to fight? I'll do I'll do what they do. They get up high and they lower their head and they go, oh, oh, oh. Like that. What about you? You wanna fight? No, they don't want to fight this morning. Just letting you know, I'm not condoning animal fighting or anything. That's just what they do. Goats like to play, they butt heads, they smack horns, and that's just how they play. There's nothing wrong with it. Not don't think I'm abusing my animals over here. Morning ducks, how's it going? What's up, bud? How's it going, little guy? You're okay. You're okay. Oh, yep. Here, you want to go, sw go swimming? There you go. Give you get a little splish splash. How are you doing, James Pond? This one's name is James Pond. This one's Quacky Chan because it doesn't stop freaking quack. That's Jennifer Lopez right there. Big girl, Jennifer Lopez. The, the zebra one, that's Marty from uh, Madagascar. The zebra. That one's the twin to chicken nuggets. We named him McNugget. This guy right there, the red one with the uh, little spots on it, that's uh, Princess Leia. The really dark red one in there, that's Lindsay Lohan. So, got all the chickens named. We need to check for eggs. I didn't check for eggs this morning, actually. Oh, sheesh. Oh, it, oh we, got one, we got a casualty. Too many eggs in the hen house thing or something. We got, well, we had seven. Now we got six. One broke. I don't know why it broke. It must have, uh, they, they, for some reason, they only lay in one box. So maybe maybe there was uh, too many eggs in one box. I don't know. Well, we got the animals taken care of. We had one casualty on the egg. No big deal. We cleaned out the box, put some new fluff in it, washed the eggs off, and uh, and we're on Wheelie Hill. We're gonna call this Wheelie Hill right here. This well, the goats are down there just bang away. But this this was the ramp that we used the first day we got the ATV, and we figured, hey, we gotta break it in some more. Bonzo was doing some wheelies. I was doing some wheelies. But Slayman hasn't done a wheelie yet, and neither has John. So today is gonna be that day. We're gonna see if we, these boys can ride some wheelies up this hill. You guys stay tuned. All right, you ladies ready for a little, t little tutorial? Don't try this at home, kids. All right, if you do and you get hurt, don't freaking sue me either. Sorry for the wind. Okay, you get her started, all right? I'm gonna let her roll back. So the key is you wanna be slowly rolling back when you hit the gas, because it'll pop you up, all right? You don't wanna be rolling too fast. You don't wanna be not rolling. And the easy way to do it is you sit back like this, get your weight in the back. Yeah, you can lift it. Give her a little roll and give her a little gas. See? You pop it up, it's not a big deal. See? No big deal. You're not going to get hurt. Don't worry about it. Woo! Alright, Slayman, you're up. Alright, so. So this is the gas area. <laughs> you just ask if that's the gas. Yeah, that's the gas. Like I said, you want to be rolling a little bit, 
and for the gas to catch and just lean, I mean, just, just like I did. You start rolling, just stick your foot down like a razor scooter and jump back on. Be all right. Oh, no, 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 you gotta keep both, both legs up. It was scary. <laughs> I like it. He's getting it. He's not getting too much height, but he's also being careful. He hasn't ridden this four-wheeler yet, so he's got to get time to use, get used to it here. There you go. <laughs> I don't know what's so funny about watching people do wheelies, but it's awesome. It's just, it's just funny because like everybody does it a little bit different, and he's he's killing the long game, just not the height game. But you're doing good. There you go. Yep. See, you got, you're good. You didn't die. You got this, Johnny. Okay, so wait, hold on. I gotta put the Crocs in forward. Oh God, he's in Crocs. This is not good. So you want to like, so you're gonna be rolling back slowly and then just yeah, yeah. just hit the gas and just lift yeah. up a little bit. You got her. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Dude, he just, he crushed the gas. You're gonna hurt yourself, Junior. You got it. Yep, oh. there you go. <laughs> You got it. You're good. Yeah, there you go. You're good. That's why I like. Everyone was commenting, "Why'd you buy the mini?" That's why. Because if you did that with a full size, that would have rolled back oh, on top of John. And John would have died. We got the mini so we could do tricks on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> These guys—they're gonna kill themselves out here. You think, I mean, you guys are getting the idea. You honestly—you just have to rip it around for a little I bit. I think so. Yeah. You get better at it. No, the, the boys did good. I would say they passed the wheelie test. Well, folks, made it down to the farm. We uh, we just realized that we, oh my gosh, it's freaking windy. Look at this, look how windy it is. You see the trees moving? It's freaking windy in hell out here. I try to get out of the wind for you. We just realized that we set up a trail camera for deer. John and I, you guys remember we set up the, uh, the old deer blind and we set up a trail camera. We have not checked on a trail camera. It's been a solid two weeks. We're planning on going deer hunting here, probably within the next two weeks. So we want to go check on it now and see if we need to move the blind. Kai Dog and Andy are out combining the corn. Look at the corn's freaking gone right now. They're combining the corn out by the other deer hunting spot. We have two deer hunting spots here at the farm. One kind of that way and then one way by the beaver dams and that's where we actually the very very if you guys remember if you guys are OG Flyer fans you guys remember the very first video maybe a couple months ago where we set out trail cameras for the first time and we saw some mega 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 bucks like just we threw corn on the ground on like a hill that spot they're out combining right now and so if we don't see anything on the trail camera here we might actually pack up the blind and take it out there at least go set up a trail camera out there and, and take a look now that the corn's out it'll be easier to kind of drive there and access it and everything else so anyways we got the UTV we're gonna unload it and go check on some trail cameras you guys stay tuned we made it she's still oh she's still on hopefully it got some it looked it looked it looked weird but oh we're gonna head back inside we got the little card reader we're gonna see if any buckies were on here all right this is the moment of truth here folks i doubt these are all from this shop let's see what Nope, that's, hey, how's it going? That's definitely not, oh, that's my pond. Yep, wrong folder. This, oh, wow, there's a duck, there's a doe, oh, what is that? Looks like a, that looks like a doe. It's hauling some freaking butt. Oh, there's a little buck, a little bucky. Dude, look at those flies and mosquitoes and stuff. So he's walking right in front of the trail camera. That's literally right where we wanted him, right in the water and hole here. Okay, so now you can see I think this is, might be him again. Nope, that's a doe. Look at that doe. What's up, Junior? How's it going? You do a little head nod. A little head nod. What's up, G? There's a bunch of them. I'm looking at the... I can see little thumbnails on it. Look at these. Super... Oh. Oh. Yep. How's it going? Oh, wow. <laughs> it doesn't care about the camera at all. See, that's the, that's the thing I'm worried about. I'm worried that the... Uh, I'm worried about the deer coming out only at night, but... I mean, they're here. I just don't know if they're going to come out during the day. All these are night shots. I don't even know what time they're at. But, I mean, there's, nope. How's it going, Ricky? So I, I would guess one to two does and one buck is kind of what we've seen so far. And then all of the, yeah, all this other footage is from other days. So not all that impressive, if I'm being honest with you. Not not super impressed with it. I don't know, that's a pro, the problem is now that it's deer season, you can't, I mean, you can't obviously bait. So you can't like set out corn to see if they come to it. This was just like a pretty fire spot. 
that we that we kind of found. So I don't know. What do you, do you think we should move the camera, or do you think we should leave it? So when we come back to hunt in a couple weeks, we can kind of check it one last time, or should we just like call and leave? Maybe leave the blind in case we want to do it, and then like. Maybe check another spot, and if like it's complete cheeks, then we just come hunt. I don't know how to deer hunt, but you know, I know you don't want to check the cameras too often, but that I mean, unless I'm just trying to shoot a doe for meat, which I'm not super opposed to. Not all that impressed with big bucks out here, so I'm thinking we should take the trail camera. I think we should take it. I think we should take it to the other spot, set it out there, you know, in a week or two, go check it. And if there's not really hardly anything, then we might want to just come hunt this spot, maybe a couple days, do a few sits and see what happens. So I say we grab the camera and head to the, uh, head to the beaver dam. You guys stay tuned. We made it. Just so happens we were gonna put out the uh, trail cameras. Kai dogs out here harvesting some beans. It's good. Clear it all out, make it easy for us to drive around and stuff. Well, we're gonna go set out a camera and see what we get. Well, we got the trail camera set there. We don't really have like a really good spot. This is where we saw the deer before, um, but it's like a, uh, I'll show you. This is like a, a, a path that runs with a fence line and then there's timber. If we're gonna hunt, we're probably gonna go hunt in there. Gosh, it's freaking windy. We just wanna get an idea how many deer walking around. There's, we've seen a lot of deer walk this tree line. They just walk back and forth because there's corn on one side and beans on the other. We're gonna leave it here. Probably come back in a week or two and check on it. And we're gonna make up our mind here. We're gonna be doing a little deer hunt, but I did just get a call kind of on the drive here. I'm getting a new animal enclosure, bought a new one. And uh, it was supposed to be delivered tomorrow. And the guy calls me and he's like, hey, I need to deliver it right now because I got this other thing going on tomorrow, whatever, yada, yada. So I was like, okay, that's fine. Here's my address, just go drop it off. I don't think we're gonna be back. So apparently he's out dropping it off right now. We're not sure. Uh, I just told him to put it down kind of by the animals area. We might have to move it around and stuff. But hopefully by the time we get back, there's gonna be a brand new animal enclosure, like a real legit barn looking thing that we are gonna have be able to keep animals in, get more animals, and kind of expand the farm family. I think we're done here, boys. I think we should go get some lunch. Fire boys, this is lunch. The boy Nick over there, chef it up. We've got some nice ribs, cheesy mashed potatoes, bam, a dinner roll. It's like Thanksgiving or something. It is. It's not really have ribs on Thanksgiving, but that's just what this reminds me of. But we all got the same thing. We're gonna eat some food. We'll hopefully see if there's an animal shelter at my house by the time we get back. You guys stay tuned. She's here, boys. We finally have a legit, legitimate. A lot of the farm stuff, you guys have been like, Flair, this, you farming just not legit. This is legit. Look at it. It's freaking legit. Dude, this is sick. It's, I mean, I got like the legit red and white combo for Christ's sake. It's freaking, dude, this thing's a beast. This is bougie. Dude, dude. this is so nice. Yeah. The animals are going to absolutely love this. I want to get something legit. This was a nine, 9 by 12, I believe. Eh, maybe it's longer than that. You, you guys get the idea. It's, it's decent size. The other nice thing about these is you can have the guy who dropped this off by the way a big shout to you you were you were a homie that came and dropped this off while i was gone but you can put like like this metal he can build like a section so like winter like right now it's nice to have it open but when it's like, super cold in the winter you can close off a section right here so let's say this is west a lot of the wind blows north like north and west you could put the close here so they could kind of like come in here and have like a completely closed in area where like you know they're not going to get cold and stuff and obviously you're going to want to backfill all that stuff there they put it on these little skis though so you can move it so you attach like a chain to the bolt, which we're probably going to want to move it a little bit i don't know he actually did a pretty good job putting it where i wanted but i'm thinking maybe put it back a little bit i don't know we might try to move it here in a bit but it's this thing's pretty nice because it's it's movable if, it, if this was just for goats you could probably get six to seven oh, yeah easily maybe even eight this thing's really nice i'm super happy that i got this it's a legit animal place for them to live ah, jesus christ it's freaking windy out here we'll see if the ghosts like it maybe we'll get them out today the new animal barn 
it's here. Let me know, comment down below what else I should get. What should I get next after this? The idea is with the little makeshift thing we got going over here in the chickens, this area, I like this area for pasture a lot. So we could run a fence like whoo, all the way down to the chickens and up. So they'd have all this area and then you could run the fence all the way up there. I mean, it's probably two, three acres of just pasture that I will never use because it's on a hill kind of by my driveway. So you could fence in this whole area and maybe get like two of these things and we could have a whole freaking petting zoo here. But let me know what else I should get. If there's anything I'm missing here or any other buildings, but I feel like the three-sided buildings are probably the strat here just because they're they're movable and they're really sturdy. They keep the animals nice and warm, even though it's, look at these, look at the boys. The boys are getting naked right now. Shoo, take it off, daddy. It's hot out here. Like I'm like, I'm sweating in the flare merch right now. Not because the merch is hot. It is hot merch, but it's physically hot out here. You guys happy with it? Dude, it's yeah. bougie. It's nice. Yeah, it looks the part too. You yeah. Know, like classic red. Yeah, red and white. I was like, dude, I want this thing to look like a classic barn. Enough pumping up the tires for this thing. I guess let's see if we can move this thing where we want it. Might have to get a track track. You guys take it. We're good. We're gonna try to pivot it. So right now, there's all this room back here, which I don't want it like way up in there, but the closer to this thing right here, the better, because that's a good wind block. So if I could get this here, ish that would make my life well make me pretty happy so we'll see what we can do here with the tractor i don't know how strong this thing is this thing's kind of a weenie hut junior at times so anyways stay tuned there boys nothing broken that I know of let's see if the goat likes it all right kids he's ready to see your new home so now that we have the new goat barn kind of situated where we where we think we want it we're not positive sure about what we're gonna do with our lives but these guys are gonna stay here for now we need to get a new fence built and I'm thinking about doing like a legit one not like a hey guys let's go to tractor supply and try to build one like a real actual fence we're gonna try to do you know, maybe even hire hire it out I know I've been doing a lot of things myself but to make a fence proper that will last as long as I'm living here, it's kind of one of those things like you probably want to hire, at least hire a helper and maybe not even just have somebody do the whole thing, but hire a helper that knows what they're doing, something like that. We can't move these goats until we have like an actual pen for them. Right now, this is the best situation that we have. What's up, big boy? How's it going? How's it going, little ones? Anyways, where I'm getting at is they're going to have to live here for now until we get a new fence in. What we're going to do is we're going to take this electric fence down. And whichever goat comes out first, which I've let them out one time and took grace for the day, they really enjoyed it. We'll just see what they do. See if we can bring them over to their new house and see what they think. I'm trying to train them so they know when this board's laying here, they're safe to walk. Let's see if he remembers. This guy, big boy had a tough time. See, they still think the fence is there. They're not sure about it. Come on, Ricky. One of them's gonna do it though. Oh. See, they're smart because they think the fence is a, that's the one thing that sucks about having just a wire fence. It's really hard for them to see. But I'm trying to train them when the green board's down, they're safe. Come on. Come on. Ready? On three. We're gonna make a break for it. You ready? One, two, three. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, well, that was easy. He was willing to get the leaves to get shocked. Oh, she's out. Big boy last time, he had a tough time doing it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Look, he's skeptical, bro. He does not like getting shocked by that thing. Right now, we've got two goats. We're gonna see what they think about their house. Come on, Bubba. Get him, get him, get him. All right, bud, what do you think? Oh, he's in it. Look at it, this is your new home. Maybe in like a week or two once we get a fence built. He's loving the, he's loving the leaf life right now. Dude, nope, nope, big boy's still in this pen, but hey, he doesn't hate it. So once we get the fence built, we'll move these guys over. I don't know how many, if we're gonna have all three goats in here, if we're gonna try to get some more. I mean, this is quite a bit of space for three goats. Either we need to get more goats or we need to get more animals that can live with goats or put a fence in the middle maybe and section it off. If you split this thing right down the middle, you could probably have the goats in here and then maybe something on the other stall. I don't know. Let me know, what other animals should we get? We've got three goats, we've got six chickens, two ducks. What about some pigs? What about like a llama, donkey, alpaca, peacocks, turkeys? What do you guys want to see next on my channel? Here in the backyard farm, the goats, they're loving the leaves. They're loving the new 
goat barn. Let me know what other animals I should get. Also, if there's any other, you know, animal structures and stuff that you guys would recommend. Or should we build the goats a playground? After we put this here, maybe we could have like a big playground right here and then fence it all in. I just want to hear you guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.